welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for your love and your support and your kind comments that you left on my last video it means the world to me truly and before I even get started with this video today I just want to say if you are currently going through anything this is coming from somebody who's still going through it but we pushing through just know that it's not a forever thing it's not always gonna be that way and it is going to get better. I never start my videos off doing a lot of talking, but that definitely needed to be said. But in today's video, I'm taking you guys through my hair care, skin care, and body care routine. Being that it is Sunday, I just finished spring break, meaning that reality is setting in for me. But just know that at the end of the school year, your girl is taking her leap of faith. Need I not say more? Anyways, on Sundays, I usually take care of everything I need. Usually when I do my wash day videos, I'm filming on a Sunday, so I'm showing you guys that process anyways, but I'm never taking you guys any further. I really should because you suffer from acne, you suffer from hyperpigmentation. If you just like to take care of yourself, I got you. So I had to let my camera battery charge a little bit, but you guys did not miss much. I went ahead and did a pre-coup to detangle my hair just so that my wash day does not take as long. I used the Cantu Guava and Ginger Pre-Poo Treatment. We're using one shampoo. Today I'll be using the Guava and Ginger Anti-Dandruff Shampoo from Cantu. Too many goggies. Something is wrong with me. Before I shampoo, I'm just rinsing out this pre-poo because it does have little exfoliating beads in it and I just want to get that off my scalp before I begin cleansing. The shampoo suds up a lot. So I'm only going to shampoo my hair once because that's honestly all I need with this. I'm going to be deep conditioning with the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. I chose this hair mask specifically because I'm not going to be getting out of the shower to deep condition under my hooded dryer. I'm going to be doing everything in the shower today. I always love using this deep conditioner because it smells so good and it's a strong scent in a good way. Meaning that even after I style my hair like days later, as I'm doing this voiceover right now, I can still smell my hair. It smells amazing. I get so many compliments. I love this stuff. It glides easily through my hair and my hair just soaks it up. The Cucumber and Mint Body Wash from Native is my favorite scent. I buy the giant bottles because every time I go to the store, it's always sold out. It's a very fresh, lightweight scent that doesn't negatively impact the scent of my perfumes. And oh my gosh, this body polish by Fresh is so expensive, but it's worth it to me. For whatever reason, I waited until I hit my 20s to start dealing with acne and I have back acne too, child. There's nothing I can really do to prevent it from coming in because it's hormonal, but exfoliating really helps renew my skin cells and it helps clear up that scarring. Love this body polish, but full body scrub should not be using your more delicate areas for that. I use this body polish from European Wax Center because that's where I get my waxes. Even though I shave my underarms, I like to use the body polish in this delicate area as well because it evens my skin tone, it slows the hair growth, and it prevents ingrown hairs and razor bumps. I'm using the EOS Shave Cream. It's nothing special. Been using it since middle school to shave my underarms and my legs. Now that I'm done showering, I'm just gonna rinse out my deep conditioner. My bad, my camera's out of focus here. Now I'm going to moisturize. I've been using Curel and Burt's Bees Lemon Oil together for years. I just take a few drops and add it in my hands with my lotion, mix it together and makes my skin super soft and glowy. I'm using my old faithful Dove deodorant in the Powder Fresh scent because I tried natural deodorant for nine months straight and uh... Immediately wow. no. Immediately no. 
I'm using my favorite scalp serum from Pattern Beauty and I do not skimp on this serum because it does me right. I'm going to be doing a simple wash and go because last week I did a pretty intricate style on my hair. So I want to give myself a little break. I let my hair air dry a little bit. I usually use a dryer, but my hair dried pretty quickly today. So I'm just tying it back and I'll be washing my face with the Urban Skin RX Clear Skin Cleansing Bar. I get pretty stubborn hormonal acne on my jawline and the sides of my face. So I have to wash my face every day. I get terrible scars and they take months to go away. So this is my routine that I do every day. I picked up this dark spot toner from Sephora during their Christmas sales because the bottle that is usually sold is like three times smaller than this and it's only a few dollars cheaper so it made sense to get that. I'm using this to try to clear up some of my dark spots and my textured skin. I'm using the Berry Clear Super Fruit Skin Smoothie on my dark spots only. This product is black owned and I've heard great things about it online so I just wanted to give it a try. If you guys would like to see a three month update from me with this product, I can definitely do that. I just started using it but I'm excited to see what I'm it does. I'm using the Kills some of these gel cream to moisturize. I prefer to use gel moisturizers because I don't have dry skin at all. My skin gets really shiny and this helps reduce that issue. I'm finishing off with the Fenty Skin sunscreen. The dark spot products that I use have AHAs, meaning that sunscreen is a necessity, but you should be wearing sunscreen anyways. Take it from me, somebody who did not used to wear sunscreen, and it's why I have hyperpigmentation all over my face. That is pretty much it for today's video. This is my first time ever filming a video like this, so let me know if you enjoyed it and if you would like to see more videos that are similar to this one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I also have left all of these products down in the description box if you're interested. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.